Good morning, Blues Congregation. It is Easter Sunday, April 17th. I am the Reverend Sean Amos, and this is Kitchen Table Blues, our weekly podcast coming to you from my kitchen in lovely North Hollywood, California. Today, we're going to get ready for tax day with music from champion Jack Dupree. We're going to celebrate Bessie Smith's birthday belatedly. She had one earlier in the weekend. We're going to talk about the best roadside food to get when you're on a van tour, as we currently are. Just left San Francisco, heading over to the Netherlands shortly. And we're going to remember the late Jay Giles, who passed away earlier this week at age 71. Thanks for joining us always. Hope you're making some good Easter brunch. And let's get right into it with champion Jack Dupree and his song, Income Tax, on Kitchen Table Blues.
great Bessie Smith with Give Me a Pig Foot and a Bottle of Beer, which is a go-to song for many of a blues woman. Billie Holiday recorded it. Nina Simone recorded it. But I like Bessie's the best. Bessie's the, <laughs> the best. This is Kitchen Table Blues, and happy birthday to Bessie Smith, born April 15th, 1894. Or maybe 1892. It's kind of in dispute, but I think they've settled on 1894. Uh, born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, died September 26, 1937, in Clarksdale, Mississippi. The, uh, the queen of the blues. The empress of the blues, I should say. This is Kitchen Table Blues. I'm the Reverend Sean Amos. As I mentioned, we're on the road right now. That's uh, why my voice is a little craggy. A couple gigs up in San Francisco at Biscuits and Blues, which is quite fabulous. Thanks to Stephen Swin and the staff up there for bringing us back. We had two sold-out nights. It was quite wonderful. And uh, we drove back yesterday uh, for a little pit stop until we head over to the Netherlands. And we had a discussion, the band and I, about roadside food and uh, how one should handle such a situation on a van tour such as ours. So I'm going to play a little uh, little uh, segment here, Roadside Food Stops. We're on the I-5 heading back from our two-night stand at Biscuits and Blues. And here with Dr. Roberts, Hannah Dexter, our trusted road manager, Luke Fisher. And just talking about best roadside food stops. Like, where's the best place to sort of stop roadside when you gotta get a snack? You can't power anymore without some kind of food in your system. Doctor? Don't know how to answer that question right now, Reverend. Really? Is it because of the complexity of the question? Uh, it's just I need to, you need to give me a few minutes to think about this kind of, I just heard this question right now. That's, that's the point. I've been on many road trips. I don't, you know, I'm not going to think about this. Hannah, are you prepared to answer this question at this time? Can you repeat the question? So the question is, best uh, roadside food stop. You're on the road, you're on a road mm. trip, you know, mm -hmm. you're on a van tour, yeah. a van tour such as this one, uh -huh. and you need to stop for sustenance. Mm -hmm. What type of roadside sustenance is ideal for you? Well, obviously, you know, I'm a creature of habit, so a good greasy diner is always welcome. Um, actually, one of my favorite roadside stops is coming up in about 20 minutes. I've, I've mentioned their fantastic gas station chocolate chip cookies. They take no prisoners. This might be a chance to stop. This might are, be the time. Are, are you guys... Would you guys be down for that? Yeah, I love a cookie. They're very good cookies. I'm into that. Maybe there's a chance that they don't have any because their cookie cookie master isn't in every. I mean, it's a oh, gas station. Man. But we gotta check. Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's a cookie actually? master in a gas station. I think a real cookie ma cookie master. The cookie man, not yeah. cookie master. I, I mean, that, that sounds incongruous to me. But I, and I'll... and they have an extensive soda fountain. Soda is a necessity for me yep. on a road trip. Totally, totally. They got the little tiny crushed ice, and they got the big... Man, this gas station owner even came to my graduation recital. Wow. I know. That's, that's, that's customer service. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They take care of me. That's nice. Luke, you, uh, roadside, best roadside food stop? Uh, I gotta say, I like the uh, custom beef jerky kind of places. Oh. Those are usually always my favorite. Uh, like alien jerky on the way out to Vegas is they have just any jerky you could ever imagine. Um, so that's kind of my, my go-to. Yes. Nice. Doctor, can we circle back to you? I, I, I think I'd probably like shakes or something like that. That's a shake? Yeah, that would be my, my nice. go-to. Nice. Right. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Roadside food stops. So, choose wisely. Choose wisely. We actually had the cookies at the A and PM, and they're pretty good. I gotta say, dollar, one dollar for a pack of three chocolate chip cookies at the A and PM near Magic Mountain, California, and they weren't bad. A little bit of an aftertaste in the mouth, but you know when you're actually eating it, it is it was pretty good. 
Well, that's going to do it for this week's Kitchen Table Blues. Thanks for listening, as always. Uh, we'll see you in the Netherlands in a couple weeks. We'll be at Vlieland, and here comes the Summer Festival, and then we'll be at Groningen. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Apologies to all the Dutch out there. At the um, here com- I'm sorry, at Rhythm and Blues Night. Here comes the summer on the 28th. Rhythm and Blues Night on the 29th. Playing with some great bands. Tiggs the Author, Walter Trout, Joan Osborne, the Paladins. It's going to be a great time. So looking forward to coming back to the Netherlands after f- uh, a few months away. We're going to play one more song uh, from... The Jay Giles Band, the late, great Jay Giles, who passed away this week at age 71. Uh, Rest in peace. Thanks for all the great blues. You all take care of each other. Be good. See you next week. We're going to do the slow grind to you. Yeah,